chemistry involves a lot of measurements. And when we do measurements, um, we need to convert from one kind of measurement to another. And we're going to learn a little system called dimensional analysis, which allows us to convert from one kind of unit to another. You do this all the time. So let's say that we're going to convert from dollars to cents. You could do that, and you know in your head you would multiply the number of dollars into cents. So for example, one dollar equals 100 cents. So you do this all the time. What we're going to do now is convert liter, uh, milliliters into liters. And I want to kind of show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. And we're just going to learn a little system. So I'm always going to start with what I'm given, and which is 0 0.250 milliliters. You're going to notice here that in some cases you're given the word liter, and in some cases you're just giving the, given the symbols, uh, in this case ML. We could have written out the word milliliter, and we could have just given the symbol L. But um, this is how we're given it this time. So we're going to go from milliliters to liters. Okay, we're always going to multiply, and we're always going to multiply and draw a little line like that. And then I want to give you some uh, tips and some rules to follow. I want to get rid of the units milliliters. Those go on the bottom. Okay, so units to get rid of go on the bottom. The units I want to get go on top. In this case, liters. Or we could see up here that was what I wanted. So units you want go on top. And this is going to be a little general rule for us. Okay, there's something that I want you to notice. If you look at ML, ML has in it what we call a prefix. A prefix is um, part of a word. So, for example, if we use the word anti-establishment, the, the part of the word anti is what we would call our prefix. It goes before the word establishment. That's a prefix. And in this case, we abbreviate it with the symbol M. Okay, so the unit with the prefix always gets a 1. A 1 goes before The one goes before the unit with the prefix. That's a lot to remember, and we won't do all this drawing in the future. Now, what goes in front of liters? You're going to memorize a certain set of powers of 10. And we'll go over that in class. But the power of 10 that goes in front of liters when milliliters is paired with it is 10 to the minus 3. That's because 1 milliliter equals 10 to the minus 3 liters. And we'll see how that works later. So for this question, which we can now answer, it is 0 0.250 times 10 to the minus 3 liters just bringing uh, my multiplication across. 
but that's not the right way to do this. We don't, we don't leave answers like that. We have to leave the answer either in decimal form or in correct scientific notation form. So in this case, I'm simply going to write it in correct decimal form. So what I need to do is I need to make this 0 0.250 smaller by three decimal places. So I'm going to stick three zeros in here. And that's the answer to the question, 0 0.000250 liters. Okay, and don't forget the units.